college graduate from a prestigious university, attorney at your father's firm. It's pretty impressive. Thank you, sir. But I never really wanted to be a lawyer. That was always my father's dream for me to take over the law firm. I can identify with that. My father wanted me to be a chef, take over the family business. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but nevertheless, look, you've got the job. Thank you, sir. Let me introduce you to the team. Okay. This is our newest detective, Detective Sebastian Holm. Sebastian, this is our desk sergeant. Mayflower. Denise. Officer. Mayflower. Nice to meet you. All right. Officer Sherry. Sherry Lincoln. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. All right. Okay, Sherry. <laughs> Detective Marissa Ellis. Welcome. And our cybercrime detectives. Detectives Philip and Aaron. You have any more questions for me? Just when do I start? Monday. Appreciate it. Wow. He is too fine again. He's a fine crack. Oh, no. Aaron. Oh, no, Whatever, you're just jealous. Mm. And I thought men had it bad. Can't I roll a look? Attorney found dead. Charles James Broderick, 51 years old, prominent attorney and shareholder at Mitchell and Associates. Last seen on Dewberry Lane. Shallow Falls Sheriff Department, Lieutenant Sheehan speaking. Lieutenant Sheehan, how are you? <laughs> Long time no hear from Marissa, and it's Bobby. You know, I was gonna call you later this week and check up on you. You're so sweet and very thoughtful. Well, how's the rest of the crew? Everybody is well. Aaron was just upgraded to a walker, so. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Hey. Have you found any new leads on Natalia's case? Because Jamie and I were planning a trip up there next week. Well, I don't know anything about it myself, but you know, I, I think the sheriff had a few leads on it. I'll just transfer you over to him. How about that? That would be great. Thanks, Bobby. All right. Good talking to you. Likewise. Sheriff Jacobs, got Marissa Ellis on line one. Hello, Marissa. I was going to give you a call this morning in regards to Natalia's disappearance. I got an anonymous phone call last night regarding somebody who said they saw her at the Shadow Falls Diner before she made her disappearance. I'm happy to hear that. I'm so glad that someone finally came forward. It's been six months. Chief Jacobs, do you know a man by the name of Charles Broderick? Charles Broderick. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Charles Broderick. Yeah, he was a prominent lawyer and ran three successful businesses. I came across his case file the other day. I think he may have something to do with Natalia's disappearance. You know, they found him on Dewberry Lane Road near the old pharmaceutical plant with tumors covering 60% of his body. And the autopsy report showed he died of cancer. And it's strange because... Right. He was as healthy as an ox. You know, all the government three-letter agencies wanted to come and investigate his case. Do you know anything about him being a rapist? Yeah, hold on a second. Let me look his name up. Yep, here it is. He was accused a couple of cases of uh, accusing him of rape. It was nothing conclusive. Uh, Gracie Mason and Cindy Gilardi. Uh, his case was kind of swept under the rug. 
Marissa, are you still there? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was just trying to multitask. <laughs> it's all right. You got any more questions about Natalia? No. Thanks for asking. All right. We'll see you soon, Marissa. You take care now. Bye.